Good. My name is Johnny Fisher. Johnny Fisher. Are you one of the pilots that does the weather mod? Yeah. I'm sure. Now, can you, would you like, can you be in a video of me? I'm doing a documentary about what you guys do. Can okay. you just tell me what you do? I can't I be think. in a video until I get approved by somebody else. Oh, you got to get approved. Yeah. Here. Okay. I'm only here for like a couple hours. I can't, actually came from, well, not came from working to do this place, but I'm passing through. Okay. And I, it, it intrigues me that you guys, no. what you do. Uh, fly yeah. through thunderstorms. Is that what you do? Yep. So you fly an airplane that has chemical attachment things? That yep. We drop. use silver eye that. Silver eye that. Yeah. And it's, and the reason we use it, it's inert, it's environmentally safe. Right. And the amount we're using over the area that you use, you'll never find it in the background. Right. You know. Um, now, what, but, what is, but it burns and it's, when it burns, it burns into a crystal form. Mm -hmm. It looks just like an ice crystal. So right. when you put it in the cloud, the water says, hey, it's one of my own, and it attaches to it and freezes. Okay, so it makes so it makes it's, clouds, basically. No, it makes ice. Oh, so it makes ice. Yeah, the cloud already has to be there. The water has to be there. Right. So the ingredients have to be there, but sometimes the ingredients are there, and in the natural process, it doesn't multiply and get going, so then nothing comes out in the rain, no snow, or whatever. Right. So are there, is there currently projects going on in the United States right now? Yep. We have a project in North Dakota for rainfall enhancement and hail mitigation. Really? Minimizing effects of hail. We have one in Calgary. So you, you can stop hail, is what you're saying? Minimize the effects of hail. Minimize the effects of hail. Yeah. Make it small. Yeah. But so can you can you cause uh, it not to rain too? No. Yeah, not my experience. So, well, so but the Chinese say they can. I don't know that they can. Yeah, yeah, because uh, you the Olympics, the Olympics yeah. right? So you know about that. Yeah. They said they stopped the rain. Yeah. Well. So we we haven't perfected that in the United States. No. Or you no. guys have. Well, we haven't. I don't think anybody has. In really? The world. The Chinese say they do, but scientifically, when they explain it, it doesn't make sense. Uh, right. So, so when you get your when you get your orders, mm -hmm. you just fly where they tell you to fly, right? For the most part. I mean, we're. When we're working, we're on a contract with somebody, a state government, a state entity, a foreign government, right. or a water district, you know, that has hired us. So we have an area that we can only fly in. Right. So whatever, whatever, area, whatever, 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 your, whatever, whatever your project area is. Right. And so you get you get contracts from the United States government, right? No. Nope. Or oh, you don't? No. Nope. But other gov governments, uh, uh, other countries? Yeah, like counties. Like in North Dakota, there are four counties that get together, vote uh -huh. on it levy their taxes, and then the state, through the state of the of North Dakota, they also get a little bit of funding. I think it's like 10%. Really? And then that's it. Then they, they pay for it themselves. Um, so the like, county, the county, the state the county, government pays for it? The counties pay for it by by voting on it and levying mills. Really? To get taxes, yeah. There. Wow. Now some places, a water district, they'll take their, I don't know where their money comes from exactly, but like a watershed area. Right. And they'll take probably taxes as well, and they'll set it up, vote on it. Yep, we're going to do this project. So Some the, places are power companies, like hydro water companies. They'll pay for it themselves. Right. And Calgary, an insurance company pays for it. So I saw a, the thing out there. You have the lime ones, too? The, the, yep. That yep. one out there that's, that I saw in the parking lot. Yep, that's for um, uh, for snowpack in the mountains. Really? Set it up up in the mountain where the, uh, you get the upslope wind. Yeah. Yep. And I'll blow the silver right out of I saw a thing in Shasta County, California. Uh, Mount Shasta. Um, I'm not sure, but it's in California. Yeah. Right below Mount Shasta, you ever hear about that? It, there was a big thing about it that the people, the residents were saying, hey, what, what are you people doing? You know what I mean? You know, I don't know if it's through you guys or. No, that we're in Shasta. Right, that that part. Where the city is that near? Uh, or be the ready. Car. Redding, California. That's north, right? Yeah, yeah, Northern right California. Yes. Right up there. We're in the, So there's other, other We things? got contracted in Sacramento. Oh, we did? Down there, for, but that's for snowpack up near Tahoe. Right, to, yeah. to make it snow more, get more snowpack, yeah, right? so that their watersheds and their their water levels will fill up. Yeah, so silver iodide, that's what you guys use? That's the yeah. only thing you guys use? Yep. Okay. All right, yep. that's great. Thank you, sir. I appreciate um, it. If you want more technical information yeah, what can about get it? it, like science stuff, I can give you, this is our scientist. Okay. Bebo. I just happen to have one, so I thought I'd bring it. But uh, his right. name is Bruce Bow. And, and this is not a website? 
Yeah, and that's his email. You can email him, tell him who you are, and if you're looking for some information, he can give you the scientific, technical information. Okay. That uh, if you're looking for that kind of stuff. Okay, sir. Thank okay. you. I appreciate it. Yeah, no problem. I will uh, definitely be running around here. Okay. Thanks. Thanks. Yeah. Well, I I can, I can. These, these guys are taking a radar down and changing it out. So is this your radar on top here? Yeah. Oh, so that's for you guys. This yeah. one here. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. Yeah. This is True TV. Today's date is the 18th of August, 2012. I have Donna on the line, and she is mad as hell because our government is capable of manipulating the weather and also uh, capable to cause rain and the reason I know it's true is number one I can see chemtrails all the time uh, number two it's all over the inter internet it's called geoengineering and number three is I may I went to Fargo North Dakota to weather modification Inc in 2009 and I recorded a chemtrail pilot I secretly recorded a chemtrail pilot. And he told me they're doing it. He, know, he told me they're doing it all, all over the world, just from Weather Modification Inc. So anyway, uh, Don is the other half of Truth TV, and here she is. Go ahead, Donna. Yeah, um, just, just wanted to talk about this drought thing. Um, as Doug said, he's, he's been to WMI. We know we have the ability to make it rain. There's floods all the time in the United States, um, devastating floods. So we have the ability to make it rain. Now, why aren't they making it rain? They just let the drought go on and on and on. It's like, what, 65% of the country right now is in a severe drought. Um, but they say the corn crop has been totally devastated, probably other crops as well. Um, I just would like to know why they're not getting up there and making it rain. And if, if you think about it, if the, the reason they do anything is because of money. So you can be sure somebody somewhere is making a ton of money off the fact that the corn has been destroyed and there's hardly any corn left. Um, as you know, when, when there's a demand for something and there's not enough supply, the price goes up. So corn is sky high right now. People that have corn are going to make a fortune, you know. So soybeans as well. I guess soybeans are going up. So think about it. Um, why don't they make it rain when they can? They have the ability. So you know, make it rain. Okay. So, uh, and it, it makes you mad, doesn't it, Donna? Yeah, it all makes me mad. It makes me mad. I can't. People watch the news, and I can't go up to them and say, hey. Do you know that, that, you know, they can fix it? Uh, first of all, they caused it, and then number two, they can fix it if they want. But they look at you like you have two heads, you know? Um, they know nothing about geoengineering or weather modification. Even though it's public knowledge, you went to the company that does it in Fargo, it, it's public knowledge, you know? Any bonehead can look it up and see that, that they have the ability to do it. Um, they can make the rain, they can make tornadoes, they can make hurricanes. Um, China can, I guess, stop the snow. <laughs> so they have some remarkable capabilities as far as weather. Um, but you can't talk about any of it to anybody. So you just got to sit and bite your tongue and just hope your head doesn't explode from knowing all of this shit, you know? No, but you can talk to somebody who's called... Uh that's why this is called Truth TV because uh, Douglas Bickford and Donna, who is on the phone from Connecticut, uh, we are exposing uh, this just this one aspect of the U.S. government. Now we are not conspiracy theorists. This is not a conspiracy theory, folks. All you got to do is Google search geoengineering. There's a very good film out there called "What in the World Are They Spraying?" If you want to watch. A, a, uh, a long documentary over an hour that proves without a shadow of a doubt that we are being sprayed. Uh, that's that's a fact. Okay, that, Just like I said, you know what? Uh, too many coincidences equal a fact. Okay, so 
uh, there's too many coincidences, folks. Chemtrails. Uh, you can Google search what they're doing with cell phone towers. Uh, it all involves harp. And anyways, the list goes on and on. This one video, I'm mad as hell because of it. And I'm never going to shut my mouth. And neither is Donna. Now, Here's what they do. I'm talking about the New World Order here, folks. A very few people are doing this to us. Are, no, actually, I take that back. It's the very few people ordering the U.S. government and, and whatever, like the military, the Congress people, they're told what to do. It's called the shadow government. And what you don't know is we. it's called the men behind the curtain. Uh, if you... They operate with... They operate, they have their own flag. I, they don't worship... <laughs> They're just a secret society, basically running the governments of the world. And it's really happening. And the media, of course, is never going to talk about this. But that's why you can talk about this by giving me a phone call at 360-773-1318. Um, and I will put you on mad as hell. Because we are mad as hell. Doug and Donna, uh, the True TV team and we will never shut our mouths. You can call me uh, anytime, 24-7. If it's too early in the morning, I'll get back with you later, leave me a message, uh, but I will get back with you. And I don't care uh, who you are. You can talk to me. Uh, if you want to be anonymous, you can be anonymous. If you want to be uh, known, then you can be known. I'll put your name in there. Uh, but, uh, put my number in there too, Doug. You can call me too, okay? Okay, why don't you give them your number? 860-304-8131. Anytime. Okay, there you go. There you have a woman that uh, is willing to talk to you, and she's going to do the same thing I'm doing. Uh, but if she's busy, she'll get back with it. Okay, so there's another episode of Truth TV. Uh Get a hold of us. You got anything else to say, Don? No. Uh, well, we're not crazy, for one thing. We're normal people. I have a college education. It's pretty intelligent. It's just that I found out what's going on a few years ago. And it's pretty it's pretty hard, frightening to let you affect you. But uh, you need to talk about it. So, so, so talk to us. It's a good way to get over it, get through it, get through your life. You know, just give us a call, okay? Okay, and the other thing is, we can and we will and we are beating the secret government running the planet uh, because we are just a little... We Millions of us and only a few of them. Remember that. And, and we don't have to fear them. I've been doing this for five years plus and I've never had any government person ever, ever knock on my door. I, and I'm a normal person. I own my own business. I, you know, but uh, we can beat them, and we are beating them, just like I said. We'll have more later for you.